Let's see if it actually picks up. And there it is. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the Wolfpack channel, Wolf Vision. And today we have a very, very interesting, innovative, awesome product. The company is called Bio Auto Tags. And I think if you haven't yet, you need to go ahead and check out the podcast episode with Paul and I. It was an excellent podcast, really explaining and, and going into depth with how he came about with this technology, how he incorporated it as far as us in the automotive culture and the enthusiasts. And I will tell you that I think it is absolutely a must have for those of us who either like to share stories about how our builds came to be, or you like to actually have this implement it with your car show scene, okay, a car show setup. So what I'm going to do is I got these in, and of course, if you don't know, one of these will be going out to one of my followers, viewers, the Wolfpack fam, Wheezy, who is also in the process of wild bodying his Integra as well as I am. So right now, I do believe those are probably the first two our Integras to be wild bodied by various hurdling in the U.S., outside of japan of course one of these will be going out to him he won during the podcast i do do giveaways during the live podcast on wednesdays at 7 30 on the instagram and then later on those live episodes will uh come out on podbean the podcast platform as well as all other pla podcast platforms but let's get into this i'm going to open it up i'm actually going to set it up with you all create the account so we can actually see one is this mobile friendly what kind of hangups might you run into and so you can kind of get a gist and a feel for the process so that when you order yours, you can go ahead and have have a heads up. OK, so let's get this open. Uh, one of the most important things is you saw on the opening was the technology that's incorporated into here. When I scanned the phone over the envelope before these were even opened and it picked up. So that's something that I really think is cool. So let's cut this open, hopefully without cutting the tags, of course. Yeah, 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 I think it's probably better to do it that way. I'm not going to even try to be too pretty with it. Let's just be careful with it. Put that knife away. All right, get these open. And in this package, we have, oh, cool as hell, a personal note from Paul. Uh, says, thank you for reaching out and inviting us to join the live. One of my favorite interviews yet. Love your positive message to the world. Keep shining that light. We need it. Can't wait to see your auto bio story. Well, Paul, that bio story is going to happen today. I really thank you for the personal note, and I definitely love how you have your own sticky pad swag. I'm probably going to have to get my own sticky pack swag. That's pretty fucking cool, man. So <laughs> next we have the two tags. They will come in envelopes such as this. This is my first time opening and seeing this. So if you get your tag, it should be in this. Now, one of these is going to be for the fam and one of these will be for me. And of course, because I'm getting first dibs, I will take the lowest number if that is something so pinned, look at 64. I'm not sure if I want to say that pin to you all. Let me see the number on these. And right here I have 744, I believe. So let's see what the number is on this one. Let's see. And this one is 698. So I will take 698. My brother and Wolfpack fam, Wheezy, will get 744. All right. I don't know. I kind of like seven, but eight has always been in my history. So I'm going to get this out to you, Wheezy. Uh, as soon as the next week comes, I'll get this shipped out to you and you will be able to start your auto biotech store. So let's get into mine. All right. So first off, right off the rip, we're going to get this open. You're going to have this envelope. And on the other side of this, I see a pin number. I'm not going to say my pin because I'm not sure if that is something that is going to be secured and or will be changed. So I'm going to keep that pin to myself. But you also will get this card here tell it tell tag it share it and on here you see scan your code it works so basically how this is going to work is you will have this particular i will call it a slap for right now because it's not a sticker because you can move it on and off but if i peel it so that you can see the front side of it and then i'll put it back on 
this is basically what you, this is exactly what you will have. And you will have this code that can be scanned by people and their devices such as this. So I'll bring this up on the camera, right? So we might as well just go ahead. I'll tell you what, I might as well just turn on the screen record so we can get all of this that's going on and I can just splice it right up here. So screen record will bring up the camera. I don't know if, if that also comes up and boom, that camera should have bought up that code, basically asking us to press and select that. And then you can see the code down here and it says to basically open in Safari. And if we open it, it's going to come to AutoBioTag's website. All right. So in a, in a, that's exactly how it will work for those who scan your tag. So we're going to put that tag right here for right now. And I got screen record on it. As you see, it says there was an error. Okay. Well, there's an error because we haven't set up an account yet. So it doesn't have anything to refer you to. But with that being said, think about it. This is lightweight, your own personal website for your car with that being said, because this is going to create a link to a web page that is going to be dedicated to your car. So now you actually have somewhere to send people to see your car, pictures of your car, read the story about your car. You can stop using like things like uh, fitness, fitness industries to like kind of create a profile and then send people that so you can share pictures of your car when really it should be used as a database of information, but we'll get into that in another episode. So right now I'm going to try and attempt to set this account up. So it also gives you directions on the other side of this card. First step is to register. All right. So we're going to go to autobiotag.com, which we are. It says register your tag using your auto bio ID number, which we have on here and I will use mine. And then you also need the pin on the front of your envelope, which it did come with here. So I will use that pen. So now some of this stuff I'm going to have to blank out because it's personal information. I don't want people hacking my auto bio tag and then posting garbage cars. And although mine looks like garbage right now because it's in the process. But let's get into this. All right. So register. I'm going to click these three dots up here. I see that we have an account icon. Uh, we can log in, but we don't have anything. So we have to sign up. So we'll go to sign up. Username. I'm going to use it. And if anybody has it, I'm going to protest to Paul that he call them immediately and tell them that they have to give it up. We're going to go ahead and go with Wolfpack Performance. I think it is very important if you have an established social media name or YouTube name or channel, you try to keep that continuity through all platforms. That way, when people search your name, all of these things come up. If you choose several different variations of a name, even it breaks up that continuity and it could also cause you you know, the algo not to pick you up when you go Google search or anything like that. So I'm going to go for Wolfpack performance as a name. We don't need to do anything pretty there. I'm also going to go with the same email at gmail. All right. Dot com. We're going to keep that continuity as well. And then password. Uh, let's see what kind of password. I'll probably blank this out, but I'm probably going to go. Yeah, it's oh, it already blanked it out, but of course on the screen it doesn't. So we'll go with something like that. And what I will do is write my password down because I don't want to forget it. And you should do the same. Write the password down as you go so you don't forget it and retype it as you write it down so you don't forget it. That's going to be very important because it's easy to forget these things as we're setting something up. So I'm going to go in, put the password in again. And hopefully I do not forget it because I have it written down and hopefully you write it down and type it in correctly. I'm also going to agree to the conditions, hoping that Paul is not, you know, shysting us in any way. And I doubt he is. And we're going to start and create this account. I'm hoping usernames cannot have spaces or special characters. So we're going to just go back up here, take the space between the W and the P and the K and the P. And we're going to go create account. And let's see what we got right now. Create account. And it says usernames can I have spaces or special characters? Well, I don't have that. So what could be going on? Um, there are no spaces. Is there a space at the end here? Yes, there's a space at the end. Okay, so now let's try to create this account. Boom. Okay, so be very mindful of that right there. Usually some smartphones, when you finish one word, it automatically adds a space on the end. Well, that is going to be considered a space period, although there's nothing there. That's what a space is. So go back and check that out. So now we are in Wolfpack Performance's Auto Biotag Garage. The next step, it says, tell it. 
Upload pictures, tell stories, and share the specs of your car using our easy to follow guide, update anytime as your story evolves. That's another critical point here. You're not fixed. You're not in one set position when you create this. This is an ongoing living document of your vehicle and the process and your journey. You can come back and interchange photos at any point in time, critique your story, update your story, add to your story. I don't know if you would actually exactly change your story because if your story is true to begin with, you shouldn't be changing it. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and assume that we're gonna go into the garage. It says add your first car. So let's add the Wolfpack car something happened here it didn't it says page not found so we'll go back up here we'll go into that because it's now showing manage profile okay so manage profile we're going to go into garage okay so now pictures so we can put our profile picture so it's not the auto biotech colors which i do like we're going to photo library we will go ahead and select the picture of the integra of course put that in there and let's see if it gets it up now i did notice that it had a certain amount of spaced or large picture that you can have in there so be mindful of that now also this is kind of set up similar to youtube and facebook because you have a profile picture then you also have a back picture that you can add it's kind of like a header so we will go ahead and let's select a header picture just to see how that looks and we'll select the header picture as you see i do a bunch of working out and i will select something like this to show that i'm also in the process of doing something else and let's see how that looks all right, so that's coming up. It is loading. Hopefully, it actually completely loads. And it's taking some time. And bow, there we go. So now what I've done is I've shown a picture of what the car did look like. And now I've put a header picture of a process, a photo that kind of clues people in to like something is changing or being worked on. And you can take that same tip if you like. Add location is optional. I'm going to go ahead and put the United States because I believe that this entire platform of auto bio tags will be worldwide and people want to share. So share your bio. My bio is... Uh, I'm just going to say Teggy life for right now, because this is something that I do believe you should take a lot of time to put into so that people get a real good grasp for your story, what kind of person you are, what kind of builder you are and what kind of car you're building. So we will go back into that later and hit save so that those things can be submitted and saved. Now it says success. So we're good right there. Uh, out here in the garage, it says add your first car. So adding our first car. We're going to have to, now this is what I did wrong the first time and I'm realizing that. We need to enter the ID tag there and the pin. So my ID tag, I'm going to peel this off so I can read it. Actually, I'm gonna to try to read it while it's stuck on here. I'm gonna enter this tag and it, that is awesome. So it gives you a clue to let you know where you're reading these numbers from. That is cool as hell, Paul. Thank you very much for that. So letters and numbers, I'm gonna put mine in. And you will be able to see this information on the vehicle anyway. So this is not something that I believe you have to keep secret. And luckily, I think I have this correct. Uh, I think this is Alpha Charlie 49698. Then it has the secret pin that Paul has provided here. And I might have to blank this out. Yes, I will have to blank this out. And then I'm going to say done. And I'm going to say add. Now, okay, success. I love this prompt of success. I love the prompt of initial uh, tips on what you need to look for, what you need to be putting in because this helps along the process. And this also shows me that they have properly and are currently incorporating the use of mobile devices so that you don't have to be in front of a PC to start your auto bio tag, which is awesome. Okay, add a featured photo. We're gonna go ahead and add the same photo and I'll go back and change these photos, of course, but for the sake of the video, I've already picked one that we can just go ahead and lock in. And it says, add more photos. We have up to 40 photos that we can add in our garage. That is cool as shit. That is quite a bit amount of photos. Now with those 40 photos, you might want to arrange them because Paul also told me that you will be able to swipe them around and move them around. If it's not there now, I believe he said that's something they're going to be incorporating so that you can have a nice timeline, pictorial timeline to show people what things were, what things have been and what things are. I think that's cool. So I'll go back and add more photos later, but we're going to get through this so you can kind of see everything that's going on. So we're, uh, we have some photo tips. Now I like this more tips. It says experiment with both horizontal and vertical shots. So that's cool that you can do both horizontal and vertical, get down low for the best angle. 
That's cool as hell. Choose a cloud, uh, a cloudy day to avoid hot spots. That is a critical thing. If you have never had a professional photo shoot, a photographer will ask you, do you want to shoot in the morning or towards the af late afternoon, early evening? And that reason is because high sun is horrible for photos. I know some of us with lack of experience go out in midday, take photos and we think they're cool, but they're not. It really makes it difficult. It doesn't lend to be great on editing. So when you have low sun to no sun shots, but good daylight and also sunset shots, awesome. They give you great spectrum of color. They allow you a bigger editing range. So that is a good tip that he's telling you right there because that also helps. Now we're just going to go ahead and say save changes. Okay, please fix issues below. What issues do we have? Let's see. Oh, I didn't see this. So we have more down here. It says, please include the year of your vehicle. Now I do believe I'm going to be the first Acura Integra ever on this platform. And I'm very happy that that is. I have waited to the beginning of the new year to start this video because I wanted it to be the first thing to kick off. It also says, please select a make and we are Acura. Acura better be in there. Paul I was going to have a problem with that. The model, of course, we're Integra life. Now, listen, I know you might be tempted to put Teggy or Teg in here, but you have to understand if people are not involved in the Honda community, they're not going to know the nickname for Integra. They might not even know Integra, but if they know Integra, they might not know Teggy or Teg. So just go ahead and put Integra for the sake of your page being found easily and identifiable. Okay. So body style, this is a coupe. All right. I say it's a coupe. I understand it could be a hatch or a three door. I'm going to say coupe because there's two doors. Exterior color. I had my paint custom made and the, I named that paint and it is Egyptian. Uh, Egyptian Druzy and it's already there. Maple. That is what I named it. Interior trim. Uh, we're just going to say Sparkle because I do have Sparkle seats. So I'm going to say that. Engine. I do have a B20 Frankenstein build. So I'm going to put B20 v for b20 v tech i'm not going to even worry about the frankenstein transmission i am running a b16 transmission so b16 trend transmission drivetrain layout now uh, this right here i'm just going to say two-wheel drive do be aware that there are four-wheel drive hondas these days acras and civics integras and civics thank you s1 built for that so i'm just going to say two-wheel drive here if i'm wrong i'm wrong i can always go back and change it Horsepower is optional. I believe we locked in the horsepower at 210 uh, without pushing. Of course, we we're less than 90% throttle and we didn't turn the cams up or anything. So 210 and a natural aspirated Honda motor is great. Torque optional. I don't recall what the torque was. I can go back and look at that. Vin is optional. You don't really necessarily need to put your Vin in there. Now you could be funny and put something cool in here. And I'm going to put in here wide body. Teggy. Just to be funny, that's something cool to just put in there. People will wonder, you know, and we'll see if it kicks it out, but I think it should stay optional odometer reading. Uh, I'm not going to put that in there because I really don't know completely because one, the car has been completely rebuilt. And as far as miles, I can tell you it's probably less than 700 miles still on the body and on the engine, not on the body itself. Uh, length optional, uh, all of that stuff. I'm not really worried about condition is built let's have some fun with this built not bought i'm loving this and i can't spell built not bought have some fun with your profile right these are funny things that you can do that kind of just make people like what the hell and then real car people will get it price new optional i tell you what value today value today i'm telling you i have to call my insurance company which we had an episode on the podcast about that proper insurance for normal and built custom cars go check that out on the instagram i don't believe it's come out yet on the podcast platform that is very important i can tell you right now as of 2022 with the receipts i've accumulated Last year, my car was valued at $30,000, and that was without any of the newest upgrades. And I'm guaranteeing you it, right now it's going to be forty k and that's going to grow. So $40,000 is what we're going to put. Price new optional. The car was only, I do have the sticker somewhere, and I think it was $18,000. So we'll just say it even at $18,000. And optional, that is optional. You don't have to put that in. Now, Facebook. And the Facebook. No spaces. Don't put any spaces. Wolfpack Performance. Instagram. We do know that Instagram, we can share that page, correct? So we can go to Instagram. And we should be able to bring this up. 
Now, mind you, I don't like this one thing about Instagram is the fact that you have to um, be coming from another page in order to share your page, to copy the page link. Now, I would honestly suggest that you go that you go ahead and do that, you know, to copy that page link. So just choose another one of your profiles and then go to that Wolfpack Performance page. All right, Wolfpack Performance, go to the three dots, copy the profile for the URL, go back in here and then place it in there. All right, boom, there's the, it says copy link. I don't know if we need any of that because we don't need that crap in there. We just need that, all right? And what that is, is Wolfpack Performance after all the Instagram crap right there, right? So technically, we should, since Instagram and Facebook are essentially the same, let's just copy this over and then go into the Facebook one and paste this. But what we'll do is we'll go back to where it was Instagram dot com and we'll put facebook dot com and forward slash wolfpack performance wolfpack performance now that should kind of give us the same thing and we'll check that url just to be sure now the youtube listen this is awesome they're allowing you to put on a pretty much a lot of connecting social media. So this is not just going to bring somebody to auto bio tag and keep them at auto bio tag. It's going to bring them here. It's all, it's, you know what? It's a landing page. This is a website for your car and a landing page for your car. They have done something pretty damn awesome here. So we're going to go ahead and put the YouTube in and I'm going to go to my YouTube app and with the YouTube app, we can go to your channel and that's cool. Cause YouTube's made that easy. You can go to the three dots. You can go to share you will copy the link. We will go back into auto bio tag setup and we will go ahead and paste that YouTube link. It also has a Twitter, which I do have a Twitter. I hardly ever use it, but also has the ability for you to put in a website. So now you can put in a website on top of everything else. So now I could put in my website for my actual website or I can put something in for my podcast. And here is something that if you have both is very important. Are you really going to be using this for business or to connect with people sociably and car enthusiasts? I'm going to use it to connect with car enthusiasts. So I'm going to put my pod bean in there. So I will go here, go out of here. I already have my pod bean set up. And uh, da, 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 where's the pod bean? Uh, it's not in this one. So I will have to go to my pod bean page and I will go to pod bean Wolfpack performance. And I believe it's popping.com and then slash there it is performance talk. All right. So there we go. Now we will copy this same URL and then we will go back into the actual auto bio setup. I will put this in the website location so that people can also go to the podcast and we can talk about car things. Now it says production figures, location optional. Nothing. Owner optional. Yes. Owner is J. That is me. All right. And also people call me J rock. So we will say J rock. All right. So then accolades. Now this is something that I'll go back and put in cause I'll need to go through my trophies, car clubs. No, I am Wolfpack. All right. I'll just put that in and then describe your car. That's something I'll do later as I sit down in front of the television, tell us more about your car and it has features I love. This is cool. What it's like to drive it. History and other details. Catchy headlines. Catchy headlines. You see the shirt. Just build it. Okay. So that's what we're going to put in. Just build it. That is my catchy headline. And now do not forget to save changes. Do not do all of this. Actually, again, I cannot spell. Build it. Do not forget to add all of this information. And because even starting off, this is still quite a bit, right? You don't want to lose any of that. I have to do it again. Save changes. If there's something wrong, I'm pretty sure. And it says success. So all the little funny things that we put in here are actually going to stick. We can go back and change all of this later. So now I want to know if I actually go into the auto bio search and I look for a car, right? And we're going to put, let's just put Integra in and see what happens. And boom, it comes up. Acura Integra, 2000 Acura Integra. And as you see, there is no other Integra. I am the first. There will be another. 
So there you go. That is how to set up your bio tag. Now, listen, your auto bio tag is not done there. We still have to put in all of our stories, all of our favorite features. I love the way Paul and the, those guys over there set it up to give you clues and hints on how to fill in these areas to make it as easy as possible and as fun as possible for you. Now, I would wonder if we put Acura in, will it still pull up? So let's put Acura in and search. We'll see what happens. Boom, right there. The only Acura. This is the only Acura on this page. Is the This Wolfpack Integra is the first Integra, and it is the only Acura. That is, that's awesome. I'm, I, you know what? I want to know how far this search goes. I wonder if we put B20V in, what will it do? Let's put B20V in. Yo, this is shit hot. So not only... Is this site searchable? It's using everything for a search. So even if you put Acre in, it's going to bring it up. Integra. And this is why you need to fill these areas in appropriately and at least generally knowledgeable based. OK, I put B20V in. It still comes up. So I wonder if I put B16 in the tranny that I put in, will it come up? It came up. That, yo, that is that is fucking that is awesome. <laughs> this is this is awesome technology. So with that being said. Let's get into more about the actual tag just before we end this and you go buy your own. Also, below in the link will be Autobio Tags website link. But as you see right here, it says NFC. That is because if you take a phone with that technology and put it up there, it will sense that chip. There's a chip in here and it senses that and it brings it up. So people can actually click that. And when it let's do it, let's just let's just try it. Let's just try it. All right. We'll put it up here. We'll go ahead and press that and let's see where it takes us. And bow, it takes us to the Wolfpack Just Build It car. So that is the cool thing that you will also have when you are at shows. If a, if you're not around, like, because we all know, like, we want to kind of be around when the judges come around, if they have questions, if they're not clear about things, if they want to know what upgrades, because that can be like the real difference between you and another person being best show first in your division is they're trying to figure out like yo these two cars are so close we need to talk to the owners well if you're not around and you have an auto bio tag that says scan the this car has a story which they've put on there so they've put a call to action on the tag and a judge says you know what let me scan it and they get this that can be the difference between you and that other car having best show first in the division or whatever the case may be now they see this tag that says just build it i love the way they're incorporating this and you they can select this and go right into your car right select the tag it takes you down oh we were already in the story hell i didn't even know that like it, it took us directly exactly to it and now we select the car that in the garage and we get to read all of this wonderful information and it has all your links right there. You can select your links and it's taking us to the podcast. I don't want to make this video any longer than it already has been. And one of the main reasons why I don't want to make it any longer is because I want to go play with this. So with that being said, not only will I have uh, up on you at the car show. Uh, but I will have an up on you as far as people being able to understand the story of my car, see my car, pictures of my car, and have a bona fide hyper steroid landing page slash website for my car. So I'm going to put in below, in the description below, the link to my auto bio tag website and the link to auto bio tags website so you can purchase your tag. And other than that, you know what I say, I'm out of here. Just build it. Get yourself a tag. Wheezy, yours is on the way.